And Texas is preparing to help to send help when that hurricane strikes. Governor Greg Abbott has placed several resources on standby along the Gulf Coast ahead of the storm. And that includes boat squads, search and rescue teams, helicopters, sheltering teams, and much more. But before Hurricane Ida makes landfall, evacuees are heading to North Texas. And we're hearing from one resident tonight. Our Nicole Nielsen has those details new at 6. It may seem a little out of the way, but believe it or not, evacuees took the road north and are finding refuge from Hurricane Ida right here in North Texas. Ken Barnes Jr. lives in the heart of New Orleans, but as of tonight, he's calling Dallas home and doesn't know how long he will. He headed out of state this morning, arriving at a downtown Airbnb around 3 a.m. Many evacuees headed for Houston and Atlanta, but he says Dallas is the perfect spot to get in and out of without traffic, though he suspects at least a few hundred others are likely here too. Hurricane Ida is expected to make landfall tomorrow evening as a major hurricane almost 16 years to the day after Hurricane Katrina. Ken says he's been through many over the years while living in Baton Rouge, but now that he's settled in New Orleans, it's his first time evacuating. He says the key is knowing when to go. A one or so, we're going to stay. A two, we're going to stay. Get to three, yeah, we're going to go because you're getting exponentially more powerful at that uh, point. So uh, this is my first hurricane I've ever evacuated with. Again, I've been through Hurricane Katrina, Rita, uh, Gustav, Andrew. I was a little too young to make decisions at that point. But I've been through so many hurricanes. But with this one, uh, coming in at a four, possibly a five, it's too many uncertainties and variables that I think it's best for us to take the precaution. Meanwhile, volunteer organizations from North Texas are driving the opposite way, heading to the storm to offer resources. We'll have the details coming up tonight at 10. In Dallas, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.